what up this rap is and so little dirk songs aha and piss me off hit way different now if you go back and listen to it now that you know what's going on with all of his situation where they're saying he has something to do with you know slumping kwando and them well kwando's guy i should say but look also now it also hit different when you look at how muwap was about to be next up on otf because he was officially a hitter in the duck case so this is kind of similar to how they're saying a uh, record deal was being offered for you know this dude that well, the shot town people that came down and did that to Quando's guys. So they were saying that they were offered a record deal is what the feds are saying. So is that a connection with how Muwap, you know what I'm saying, was offered? He was next up on, on OTF. So it's starting to look kind of messed up, though, when you piece it all together. So let's go over Piss Me Off and AHA. So basically, if you listen to AHA, well, the first thing you notice is both of those videos, he's kind of dropping a bag off in the trenches so that's a big sign because that's what King Vaughn did and it looked like that's what he was doing was when King Vaughn was dropping that bag off it looked like he was dropping that off for the duck situation so and both aha and pissed me off it looked like Dirk was dropping a bag off to the trenches so is that something there also another thing is well with aha there's a whole lot of clues in it so First of all, he's saying don't respond to nothing about Vaughn. So he's saying basically that it probably his managers or whoever is advising him not to respond to the Vaughn situation. Well, he's saying that in the chorus, Dirk. And then what he says next is basically F that. He's saying you trip and go get your straps. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no not responding. He's he's saying like he's dismissing that. And then he's saying they drop a locations and getting it done we getting it done so saying they drop a locations now that's what we heard with the whole otf uh people out in california when they got the drop on kwando and his guy they had a location that was dropped so he's saying they sliding on them and the feds can come he's saying he's saying he's getting it done getting locations and making it happen so they said also, Dirk was saying in that song, he's sliding through their blocks and they don't know we have. You know what I'm saying? Because for a long time, people thought that what happened to Quando and this guy was something related to California. They thought it was something with maybe we, a weed deal or something going bad. But it turns out OTF is being blamed for that. So that's kind of um, a lot of clues he's throwing in that song. Aha. Because he's saying basically... Yeah, we sliding through their blocks and they don't know we have, so they wouldn't expect them to be in California. So, I, you know what I'm saying? This is a lot of self-snitching going on, it sounds like, in that song. But then then again, this could all be entertainment purposes that just happens to line up. So we can't say that just because he's saying this stuff in the songs that that's what it is. But let's get to a few more things. So he also talks about how um he's getting back for d thing what happened to d thing he said this is facts you know what i'm saying he said they say just a song he said it's facts but then again like i said it's all entertainment when it comes down to it right that's why it's going to be interesting if they are going to want to try to use these lyrics in this case because th that's what drill really started was telling on yourself in songs and dropping actual names before that people was just talking about random people invisible people that don't even even exist you know what I'm saying? Like, gangsta rap used to just kind of just talk stuff. You talking trash about a rapper? I mean, not a rapper, but no one in real particular. But then Hit 'Em Up came out, and then you had Easy E with Real City Compton G's, and you know what I'm saying? Then you know with N.W.A. they really brought in where it was direct. But then you know what I'm saying? When Drill came out, it got super direct, like even on another level from back then but hit him up was kind of like the first drill song in, in real city compton g's you know but yeah but back to dirk though like like i'm saying though he said he got your folks hit aha basically so he's saying that he got your folks hit like kwando didn't get slumped but his his folks got hit you know what i'm saying his people did that's what he said in the song he said if um well here's here's where it gets kind of interesting because in the aha song he also says he brings up piss me off you know what i'm saying because that's the other song you want to go back and listen to because both of those songs hit different now so when you go back to um 
the aha he said basically um he said he was confronted by someone and asked they asked him if he was talking about them and pissed me off and he said yes that's what dirk said in the verse he's saying you talking about was i talking about you and pissed me off yes and i said yes so he's saying he was directly referring to you on piss me off so that tells you to go back and listen to piss me off and when you go and do that you will see once again dirk is dropping off a bag to the trenches and he's walking through the trenches with money and stuff so it looks like maybe he's you know what I'm saying putting money on someone and so in that song i only find like one clue there's a lot of stuff in there but the main clue that he says and piss me off is when he's saying if you can't get the main do you better get his guy he says that in the song so it's almost like he's telling on himself because what's the in both songs he's kind of saying that like if you can't get the main dude get his guy he keeps bragging about that it's like he knows that you know what I'm saying i mean that's what happened with with kwando what i'm saying is that you know what I'm saying he didn't get kwando but he got to at least get his guy he's saying so that's what he says and piss me off he says some other stuff in that song too but that's one of the things he says and, and talking about sliding for Vaughn and all that. And then with that new song, Slide for Vaughn, We Slid, you know what I'm saying? That song um, looks like it's not clear why that song is on Little Dirk's official page because a lot of people saying that song was actually created by some YouTuber or something put together, matched up with different verses and stuff. But no, it's actually put up on Little Dirk's official page now. So. You know, regardless of where the song originated from or if it's even a real song or if they just made it using kind of clips and put it together and pieced it together or whatever, it doesn't matter because it's on Little Dirk's page. See, a lot of people didn't understand that. Go to my last video. I got the link. You'll see the link is Dirk's official page that he has um, that song. He's promoting that song. We slid and the artwork says slide for Vaughn. So. Whoever's behind putting that up on Little Dirk's official page, whether it's an official song or not, is that's just wild that it's even on there. So we're seeing all these clues and his verses. And like I said, just to, um, before I get out of here, just want to make a disclaimer that, you know what I'm saying, everything we covered in this video is all basically speculation. You know what I'm saying? We're looking at what he's saying in his actual songs, but we got to respect the art of music and hip hop music as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Even though a lot of these things are in there, it could all be coincidence. You know what I'm saying? It could all be coincidence in entertainment purposes only. So we don't want to just say that all that stuff in those songs is a direct uh, confession to what happened with um, with uh, Quando and his guy. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to say that because, you know, it could just be um, a coincidence or it could just happen to match up. You know what I'm saying? Some of the things just sound interesting. It sounds like related, but we can't say that for sure or nothing. So this is all just speculation and just observing the words that were spoken in these songs and piecing it together like that. So let me know if y'all find any more clues in some of the songs. I mean, really, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully Dirk didn't really do that. Hopefully he had no knowledge of what was happening. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe he was. Maybe he was like Vaughn. Maybe Dirk, because I never looked at Dirk like he was like Vaughn. I thought Vaughn was the villain, you know what I'm saying? Vaughn was the evil twin, and Dirk was kind of like the sidekick. It looked like like Vaughn was just reckless with it. And I never thought that Dirk was really, really like that. I thought he was more like kind of focused on music and, you know what I'm saying, in tune with the streets and hanging with the streets and everything, but not necessarily, you know what I'm saying, on that timing, on that demon time like King Vaughn was. King Vaughn was definitely about that life. Like he, he it's like he didn't even care about uh, whether he got arrested or anything. It seemed like like Vaughn was bold. Like if if Vaughn didn't get um, slumped, he probably would have been part of that old Block Six. You know what I'm saying? Because they had all the information. They talked about he put a bag on Duck and all that. So now hopefully Dirk don't get tied up in all that in this federal case where they might try to say OTF. Like I said, when Muwap. We saw Moowop was a um, a hitter in that duck case, and now you're piecing it together that record deals might have been offered for whoever you know goes on a hit, and an OTF record deal might be offered, and so hopefully that all doesn't tie back onto Little Dirk. So 
anyways, yeah, that's about it for today, y'all. I just wanted to go over those two songs. Piss me off and um ah both of those songs hit way different now that we see what you know what I'm saying we can kind of see what he's talking about now before we had these details nobody really uh caught that stuff so yeah that's about it man make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe let's get 100 likes on this video and then um follow rap hits on social media and all that i'm out of here